Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro. Mr Trump says the US is ready to take strong economic actions if Mr Maduro carries on with his plans to rewrite the Constitution. He also praised Sunday's symbolic referendum in which millions of Venezuelans rejected President Maduro's plans. Our Rafael Romo has the latest. The Venezuelan opposition is now calling for a 24-hour strike on Thursday to increase pressure on President Nicolás Maduro. They're also calling for the formation of an alternative national unity government, although it's not clear if they intend for this government to run the country parallel to the current administration. These actions were announced after more than 98% of people voted Sunday to reject Maduro's plan to rewrite the Constitution in a non-binding referendum. More than 7 million people participated, according to the opposition. The White House weighed in on the landslide victory Monday, urging free and fair elections. Spokesman Sean Spicer condemned the increasingly volatile situation in the South American country. We congratulate the Venezuelan people for the huge turnout in the referendum yesterday and the unmistakable statement that they made that they, and that they delivered to their government. We condemn the violence inflicted by government thugs against innocent voters and efforts by the government to erode democracy in Venezuela. Meanwhile, President Maduro called the referendum illegal. He says he will still go ahead with a July 30 vote to pick a special assembly to rewrite the current constitution. Nearly 100 Venezuelans have died in more than three months of violent anti-government protests. Rafael Romo, CNN. South Korea wants to talk, but uh, there's no answer yet from the North. The new government of the South Korean President Moon Jae-in has extended an invitation to Pyongyang, uh, officials offering to hold talks with the aim of defusing military tensions. David McKenzie has more from the South Korean capital, Seoul. Still no word from North Korea whether they will accept the proposal of talks from the South Korean government. Uh, South Korea wants to have dual track talks, both military to military talks at the demilitarized zone as soon as this Friday, as well as humanitarian discussions on the issue of family reunions for those split up by the Korean War. The unification ministry here in South Korea has said that their aim to talk to the North doesn't show any shift or rift from the U.S. policy, which is to potentially bring more sanctions and pressure to North Korea to end the nuclear and missile program out of Pyongyang. Now, there is a sense that these are just low-level, entry-level talks, and the South Koreans say this is no move towards high-level negotiations. They just want to try and ease the tension on the Korean peninsula. David McKenzie, CNN, Seoul.